In this video, we'll explain how to calculate declination on the site reduction form. Declination is the angle from the celestial equator to the celestial body and is one of the values needed to obtain a line of position by using the site reduction tables. First, we look up our declination and decorrection factor in the daily pages of the Nautical Almanac, in the same place we obtained our tabulated GHA. As with the GHA, where we used only the hour and ignored the minutes, for declination we do the same. In our example, the time was 1335 minutes and 9 seconds. We ignore the minutes for now, so we go to 1300 hours. We see this gives us a value of 23 degrees south and 23.1 arc minutes. We note this on the site reduction form. We also need to find our decorrection factor, which for the sun is located at the bottom of each of the daily pages. We see here the value is 0.1 arc minutes. We note this on the site reduction form. We will use this factor to find our decorrection to account for the minutes that we ignored earlier. We also need to determine if the declination is increasing or decreasing over time. If decreasing, we note a minus for decorrection. We check this by examining the declination trend on the daily pages. In our example, we see that the declination is decreasing over time, so we note a minus for decorrection. Decorrection is found in the yellow pages of the Nautical Almanac, titled Increments and Corrections, once again on the page for minute 35. This time, however, instead of looking up our value under seconds, we use the decorrection factor we found. In our example, we see that a decorrection factor of 0.1 gives us a decorrection of 0.1 arc minutes. We note this on the site reduction form. Now, we simply sum these terms to get the total declination, remembering to subtract if our decorrection is negative. In our example, we see that this sums to 23 degrees south and 23.0 arc minutes. This concludes our video on declination. To test your understanding of what we've covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video on assumed latitude by clicking on this link.